Okay, it's time for a new pickups video. And as you can see, it's of the um, video game, the Callisto Protocol. This is the PS5 version of it. And as you can see, um, <clears throat> um, you can see the price of it. Got um, Magic Pick Up and CEX for £10. When I was in CEX a week ago, or even weeks prior to that, um, they were selling it for £15, which was very expensive. Um, and we had the Xbox Series X version for um, £12. And I was almost on the cusp of just picking up the Xbox um, Series X version of it for, um, for 12 and I went in my local one today, saw that um, the price went up to £10. I even went to the Series X version to see if, if they'd maybe dropped it even lower than this price. And it was still, they were still advertised at £12. So I just, um, started, decided to pick this up. Again, it isn't brand new, but it looks pretty much in brand new condition. Um, the, the funny thing is that when I went to go and pay, pay for it, I think there was somebody new work in there. And I paid for the actual game and everything. And... As I was doing the rest of my shopping, something in the back of my mind said to me, open up the case and check out the disc. When I opened them up the case, um, the young lady there had given me the PS4 version of it. So I wasn't completely sure on whether or not that, you know, that if you buy the PS4 version of it and you put it into the PS5 version, maybe it would automatically upgrade it. But I thought to myself, if there was if I was gonna get rid of it, which I doubt I will, and then it's gonna seem a bit funny having the PS5 case and the PS4 disc. So I did um, some more little bit of my shopping, managed to get back to the store before it closed. Um, because it closed at seven o'clock. Explained to them, I said to, said to them, the, the person behind the desk, um, that you've given me the wrong version of it. You've given me the PS4 version of it rather than the PS5. And they apologized, gave me the right one, and then I was in and I was out of there. So, you know, everything sorted out in the end. This this does say the day one edition, because I know it comes with a DLC. Uh, not DLC, a coal to add, to, I think, to get extra weapons and stuff. Now, I pretty much doubt that's not going to work because, obviously, whoever was the previous owner for this um, particular copy of the game has probably already used it, so it's probably not going to work anyway, which is fine by me. Now, the little history behind this game is that some of the developers that worked on the Dead Space game actually were, um, worked on this game. Now, so there was a lot of um, hype for this particular game because obviously people, you know, knew that some of the developers from Dead Space work in this game. So there was a high expectation of people who were expecting this game to play exactly like Dead Space, but it doesn't com completely play like um, Dead Space um, from what I've de played because I've actually watched other people doing it. And a lot of pe a lot of um, other websites or other people pretty much didn't like the game because... They found the game because the game is, is, is really difficult. There are sections of the game where when you're fighting certain monsters or creatures, wherever they are, what the, whatever the proper name is for these particular creatures that are in the game, um, there is a dodging feature that's in the game. And it kind of doesn't, from what I've seen, it doesn't really kind of explain how you're meant to dodge these kind of creatures. And it's, it's better that in the game that you actually use stealth on these particular creatures because it makes it easier. So... If you don't take out these particular creatures in a certain way, what happens is the creatures become much harder to take out. So you have to do a lot of sneaking around in getting rid of these creatures. And they're kind of be very difficult to take down, especially if there's three or four of them at the same time. Um, and then the first, one of the first weapons that, you're, you, that you get in the game is that you get this baton, which you can upgrade, which I think you can electrify it, which can take out certain enemies. And you have to find a lot of um, little things to basically to upgrade the actual baton in terms of the um, in terms of how much damage it does, or how long the electric the electrical um, upgrading it um, lasts for. And eventually, later on in the game, you do get um, other weapons which you can three D print, like um, pistols and shotguns and assault rifles. But you find this later on in in the game. And you also find currency that you can use to your same things to upgrade your weapons with. But um it's a lot of kind of stealth in Tana Guy, right? I mean you're not given tons of ammo. So if you're expected to go like kind of guns blazing or you're expected to buy certain um, um ammo for the uh, find lots of ammo for particular weapons that you may find. Um 
you're kind of going to be in for a kind of a nasty bit of a shock. So it's basically about knowing what, what you kind of, a lot of strategy in the sense of doing stealth kills or dodging them or even when you use weapons on certain creatures, make sure you kind of get headshots. And from what I've seen um, of some YouTubers that have played the game, if you get the right upgrades for certain weapons and the certain techniques that you use in kind of taking out the creatures in the game, then the, um, it's a lot easier to, you know, to take out the creatures in the game but if you're one of these people who's not very patient or doesn't understand the combat system or the dodge mechanics because it's very different um then you will be frustrated and will find the game extremely hard to play so i've seen i've watched other people play it whether or not i'm going to be as good as them or and i'll pick it up straight away in terms of the dodging i don't know time will tell when i get around to playing it um as you know, this came out roughly just a couple of months before the Dead Space remake, which people, or I'm not sure people already know, I love the Dead Space games, especially the first one, the second one. Third one, not so much. The only thing I do like about it is the fact that, that you can customise and make your own weapons in Dead Space 3. But generally speaking, with the, with the, with the Dead Space games, I, I really love the first one and the second one. I think I've done a playthrough of both Dead Space 1 and 2, which, you, which are available on my YouTube channel. Um, and I'm really I'm hoping eventually to get the um, the Dead Space remake, whether or not whether or not that'll be on PS Five or Series X, because they're identical anyway. And I've got both consoles anyway with the PS Five and the Series X. So whichever, so if I can find it on whichever system at the cheapest and it's at a decent price, I'll get it on. It, it won't matter which system I'm playing it on. So I will be, we definitely will be picking up Dead Space remake. I am hoping that. Um, that what they do is they because obviously the Death, it was highly praised with Death Space remake. I'm really hoping that what they eventually do is they do a Dead Space Two remake as well. They'll be mad not to do so, and maybe even redeem themselves by by doing a remake of Dead Space Three, which you know redeem themselves in terms of what people did and didn't like about that game. Again, as I said, with this particular game, um, some people actually loved it and understood how the game worked. I mean, I took the time to understand the playing mechanics or gameplay mechanics of the actual game. And there were some people that didn't like it. Sales-wise, from what I know, it was kind of mixed. So, I, doubt, I don't think that they will be making a sequel, which is a shame in that kind of a sense. Because it would be nice if maybe that, you know, that they could take the element, they can make a sequel take the elements of what worked with this game and take the elements that didn't work that people didn't like and then make a sequel of it so you know there was a dlc that was released for the game which i think has um did come out obviously that's gonna be separate to separate to buy so i will be trying to even that out at some point but obviously i'm gonna try it this game first and again as a focus before 10 pound for me is an absolute steal um for this price of the game when i was looking around on um hot uk deals um every time there were places that were selling it for 9.99 they i either missed the deals and they were sold out or certain places like a certain tesco's obviously nowhere near where i live or certain asda's were selling the game for 9.99 um but the problem with um with um with those particular stores whether it's te a tesco's or asda store is not every asda or tesco store is going to be selling that price it's totally random so you could go to um, several different Tesco's that, that still do video games and they still not sell the games. You could go to a Tesco's that's outside of London and they have the games in there. Because the amount of times I've heard people being able to pick up PS5, Xbox games, really good games for 50p. But when I've travelled out to go to a big Tesco's or a big Asda and they don't do those deals and they don't even do those deals online, which is a shame. So again, for this price, I um I can't complain. I'm really looking forward to trying this out and doing a play for this. And I'm hoping with um with my because I'm good at pretty much that stealth games and um survival horror games that all that will come. And I've watched as again people play this so that I'm hoping that all those skills will come to mind in me playing it. And I won't die too much in kind of playing it because as I said before, if you don't take out the monsters properly, then what happens is that the monsters become more powerful and they're actually harder to, to actually take out and kill so you have to try and go for stealth kills but as i said before when you get the the um 
the upgrade modules for your for your baton or the weapons that you eventually find to 3D print and you upgrade you find modules to upgrade them. And obviously um then the, the game will become a little bit easier. I know there is a twist in the game that I that I already know, so it doesn't bother me that it's spoiler, but I won't spoil it for anybody else that actually hasn't played the game. But as I said before, because of the sales, I doubt there's gonna be a sequel, which is a real shame, you know, that it that the game had a lot of promise, but yeah. As you can see here, it says here, fear takes no prisoners. On Jupiter's dead moon, a mysterious outbreak has has thrown black iron prison into chaos. Fight to survive the unspeakable horrors of Callisto and, and uncover its dark secrets. And it says here's the minimum amount to um, um, hard drive space it, to the top um, is... I think it's 45. Of all, it's going to be probably going to be a lot more because obviously there's going to be, probably going to be patches because obviously all games have... Uh, I know probably, there probably was a day one patch when it came out. Then you've got to take into account that there probably was patches that were done um, in the game because obviously graphical glitches and things here and there. And obviously maybe things like game game save errors and certain things like that. So you got to bear in mind of all it says 45. It's probably going to be a little bit more than that. So bear that so bear that in mind if you're installing it. Again, as I said before, it's it's rated 18. We'll try and take off the sticker here. Uh, don't know if we can see the previous price if we can take this off. Probably won't be able to. Um I don't know what they stick these things with because it's so difficult to peel off. Okay. And then I'm trying not to dent. The actual indent, the actual plastic um, sleeve casing thing, because that can be a, a complete pain. We may have to see the previous price. We might be able to. I can do this. Yeah, I was right. It says here the you can see the previous price was fifteen pounds. So believe it or not, this was fifteen pounds last week because I went into CX last Friday and today. Is well, it was technically speaking, it's um, Tuesday uh, morning in the UK. So, but I went and when I went in there on Monday, which would be, I just forget to look at the date. When I went in there on Monday, the 16th of October, this was £10. And when I went in there on Friday, which would have been, oh God, the date, Friday the 13th, oh. It actually was fifteen pounds because I was just I was still, because I was, said earlier on, I was debating on just getting a Series X version of it because obviously that was twelve and you know I was expecting that. it just pays to be patient these days and you're bound to get I don't know if it's another sticker in it. Is this weird? It looks like there is, but I may be wrong. I'll get rid of that. I'll have to give this called clean again because obviously you've got the sticky residue. Which is a complete and utter pain because when you put other if you've got your games part of me put games in it, it's oh, annoying you can already hear that the residue and then we'll get rid of this because as i've seen it in one of my videos um people a lot of people seem to like with with um pretty much all the game stores and the, the game you uk stores are pretty much all gone now and they've all um they they do little kiosk branches inside um, Sports Direct, but the problem is is that they only seem to solve the newest um, games that seem to come out, and they don't do um, secondhand games in there. So it's only good for. Um, and then the problem is that um, Game Now only have an online store, um, a big online store, and then obviously they charge four ninety nine to deliver any item, even if it's secondhand, and then you can get them to do a pickup of your order at a low at um a game which would be at would, would, which would have to be at your sports direct but um some of them, even though i've got i've tried um doing the pickups um orders so i can get them to deliver it to my my local sports direct and then they wouldn't it wouldn't they wouldn't do it it, it, it wouldn't go there so that's, so that's a real shame really it only leaves basically cx to sell games and their games pardon me aren't new so it means having to order online, so it's 
either place like shop2.net, Amazon, especially if you've got an Amazon Prime account, so it's free delivery. If it's over 50 quid, if it's, as long as it's over 20, 20 pounds of your game, then it'll be free delivery. Obviously, if you want it faster, you're going to have to pay more for delivery. And you've got places like um, Game Station. Sorry, not Game Station. Um, game Collection. We still still do free delivery, thank God. And they do some decent sales on there once in a while. And you've got Shop2.net. Which do sales on there as well. So, as you can see, the condition of the disc is... Good condition. It's got a little smudge, but I can easily clean that with a lint-free cloth. Again, as I said, um, they accidentally gave me the PS4. Um, full version of the disc. I can manage to get him to swap it, and obviously this is the day one um, cold um, edition with the cot with the extra weapons in it, which that's going to work because somebody obviously would have used it. So you know, again, as you can see, I'm going to clean this off camera, so get rid of the sticky residue. So yeah, that's the um, um, so that's the, my unboxing of the. Um, v Kalist, v -Kalist protocol says they have a day one edition for PS5. So if you're somebody that's interested in wanting to try this game out, um, it's still twelve ninety nine on the Series X second hand. Um, I don't know if any places, Britain places online or certain other places will have this for ten pound. <clears throat> it's probably gonna be about for or um, places like Argos. For my sort, it's still like maybe fourteen twelve pounds on there. But if you if you don't mind paying for a second hand version of it, then check I'll tell you check on your local CS because it should be still the yeah, PS if you've got a PS5 as well, it's gonna be PS um ten pounds for the PS5 version of it, second hand. And for the um Series X version of it, it's going to be um twelve pounds. So yeah, that might change over the coming days and weeks because they're always doing that. So keep a lookout if you're not sure. Um, check on the CX website to see how much the price of it is. But if you're about worried about just going there and wasting your time, and they've ended up putting it up, or, or who knows, it might even go down. Anyway, I hope people found this video informative. Um, please feel free um, to share with your friends and family. If you can also give this video a thumbs up, I would highly appreciate that. That will help people find my YouTube um, content and channel. This is because the YouTube algorithms favor the bigger YouTubers in terms of putting their channel on the YouTube recommendation pages, pages because obviously they're bigger YouTubers and that's what the algorithm does. So um, smaller YouTubers like me might like myself aren't going to get kind of a look in. So that, I would highly appreciate that. If you, it only takes a mere second to give this video a like. Also, if you already haven't, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. We're on the road to 500 subs, nearly there now, probably less than, uh, just need another 30 subs and I'll be almost be there. It'd be nice to sit there and hit the 500 um, sub milestone, so I highly appreciate that. I know a lot of people don't watch, they just um, don't necessarily subscribe but they watch and that's alright too, gets the views. But if you like stuff like this, when it comes to unboxings, gameplays, reviews of any sorts, there's plenty of content on my YouTube channel, I'm always downloading stuff on a weekly basis so there's always plenty of stuff um for people to look at and enjoy and it just leads me to say wherever in the world please stay safe especially with all the deaths that are going on in this world and i'll speak to you again on the next video bye for now